in addition to spreading more quickly, it also now appears that there is some evidence that the new variant, the variant that was first identified in London and the southeast, may be associated with a higher degree of mortality. Boris Johnson's warning that the new COVID variant may be 30% more deadly than the original strain, coinciding with an emotive new TV advertising campaign, has raised fears that England's lockdown could go on for longer. But top scientists have questioned the Prime Minister's warning, claiming it's too early to draw strong conclusions about increased mortality rates. My first reaction was that it was possibly a little bit presumptuous to do that when the data were in their very early stages. If you're polling for elections, you need to sample a certain proportion of people to have a good idea of which way an election is going to go. And it's the same with these data. If we only have a very small sample, it may be that actually you're not reflecting what's truly going on. Speaking alongside the PM when he made his 30% claim, his own chief scientific advisor, Sir Patrick Vallance, also admitted there was a lot of uncertainty around the numbers. As well as warning about the new variant being more lethal, the Prime Minister has also signalled that to stop dangerous new variants entering the UK, more curbs on international travel are likely. After images of crowded arrivals halls at UK airports this weekend, Tory MPs accept that some further restrictions are necessary. I think it wouldn't be unwise for us to look very hard at our borders and to really consider whether or not now is the time to make sure that we control access and therefore restrain any spread. I think that's an important thing to look at. We need to analyse the cost and make sure that what it is actually doing is protecting us and not just making it harder for those who need to see family. It's likely that ministers will back the introduction of COVID hotels, with airport hotels being used to quarantine international arrivals, a scheme already in use in Australia and New Zealand. The travel industry is deeply hostile to the idea, however. If the government put in place hotel quarantine for everybody coming into the UK, it would snuff out recovery in the aviation and travel sector. It would reduce confidence it would mean people wouldn't be prepared to book future holidays until they could be certain that they wouldn't have to quarantine when they return to the UK. It would be a hugely damaging policy measure. And for that reason, I think the government needs to think very, very carefully before they do something that deliberately hurts the economy. The Prime Minister has hailed the success of the vaccine programme so far. But the government's big fear is that vaccines may be less effective against another new variant. John Craig, Sky News.